Matt Peninsula honey. I like the ginger. <laughs> An Italian queen. This is cool, lads. Smells like something dead around here. I've got my queen, yeah! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian's Wonderful World of Bees. This morning, I've managed to get onto a queen, a mated queen. So we're hitting the road. Come along, join me in the ride. The funny thing is, I got on the dog and bone last night to a friend of mine to see if they could recommend anyone with a queen and sure enough she was after a queen too so she got on the blower and made a couple of calls and now I've got to travel down to Mornington to pick the queen up. It's very exciting getting a new queen. So here I am, I'm at Peninsula Honey on the morning to Peninsula. Very excited to pick up my queen bee today. Can't wait to get it home and get her working. Crikey, is there alcohol in that? It, there is, there yeah, is. there's 8% alcohol. <laughs> and the other one is ginger. And honey. And honey. Mm. And this one's alcoholic too. It's very smooth, isn't it? I like the ginger. <laughs> Ginger's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's okay. So there's one. Yep, that's one, and here's another one. So I've just been in and picked up my two queens, one for myself, one for a friend. They are an Italian queen that have been mated to a Caucasian males. So they are, they will produce a, a cross bred bee, you could say. Very exciting, very exciting. Take a look around this place. Check out all these honeys. We have red gum honey, orange blossom honey, local flora, yellow box honey, Eucalyptus honey, Banksia honey, stringy bark, leatherwood, clover, iron bark, manuka honey cider. Sparkling honeymoon. Looks like a champa. This is cool as cool as. Cream honey, cream cinnamon honey, cream ginger honey, propolis, pollen. Soaps, hand creams, honey olive oil, wax foundations, beeswax, a few smokers up here, 
it would have had a little bit more products for the actual beekeeper. They probably tend to sell more honey in this sort of area than anything else. Honey pops. Honey straws. Look at those things. Honey straws. <laughs> Made with the eye box honey. Honeycomb candy. Look, the bees come in and out here, out, out through the wall, down the tunnel, up into the hive. That's cool. So there you go, I've picked up my queens, head back home, put her in. It smells like something dead around here. Don't know what it is. Anyway, lovely people. Well, that was an exciting visit. I've got my queens. I've got my queen. I've got my queen, yeah! I am so happy to have a queen going in. A little bit of new blood. It's never a bad thing. We can only hope that she's a good queen. So here we go guys, have the queen heading down to put her in the, in the hive. If you've made it this far, please click the like button, leave me a comment and subscribe. Be much appreciated. For those wondering, this queen cost me 45 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty fair and reasonable. Fairly simple, simple procedure. No smoke required for this one. So we'll just put that here. I have enough clearance in my top board. Oh, they look happy. Certainly are giving her a lot of attention. And what I'm wanting to see, here we go, now we're seeing it. The bees are starting to fan their wings. This is what I wanted. So they're really happy to see her. They smell her already. Fantastic. You can't see it, but the end of the little capsule here, the queen cage, is packed with, it appears to be a hard pack of sugar, and it does go from top all the way down to the, the rim just there. So a bit of luck, they will feed her in the coming days. Look at that, they're already getting stuck into that sugar and help her to escape. Bob's your uncle. Yes, we have a queen. <laughs> I number one, we have a queen, it's number one. <laughs>